So in this video, we're going to run through a few different vacuum filling pens. First up is the Pen BBS 268. With a retail price of about $17, this is a nicely built vacuum filler and a reasonable entry level to the market, but it's not as large or as well made as some of the larger ones we'll be looking at later, like the Wingsung 699. At this point in the video, we can see the vacuum filling mechanism in action. It's pretty simple in practice. Basically, there's a steel rod in the middle of the pen, which is affixed to a rubber plunger. The rod is pulled up and then pushed down. As the plunger goes down inside the body of the pen, it creates a negative pressure area behind the plunger. When this plunger hits a widening towards the middle of the pen, the pressure is released, which pulls air, or in this case, ink, into the barrel where that negative pressure area was. This is that sucking action you see. Right now you can see the plunger pushing down and then you can see it pop when the plunger hits the wider area towards the bottom of the barrel. And then you screw it in to lock it down. You will have to unscrew it a little bit to release that plunger. That exists to fully stop the bottom of the pen, which is useful if you want to go on an airplane or something like that. Now you can see the vacuum filling in action. The plunger is pushed down. When it hits the wider area, the pressure is released and the ink is pulled in. Now I repeat the process, but it doesn't really fill more ink in. That's something you do commonly with a converter, but it's not as effective with a vacuum filler. By the way, this pen is the Wingsung 699. It sells for about $30, and right now it is pretty much the most desirable of the Chinese vacuum filler pens. It's a really high quality pen with a quite smooth, large steel nib. It's also sold with a gold nib. The design was clearly inspired by the Pilot Custom 823, but that pen costs about 10 times as much, so it's really in a different link. This pen is the Pen BBS 456, kind of a mid-range of the Chinese vacuum filler pens. It's about a $25 pen, and it's a nice size, but it's not really as much of a standout as the Wingsung 699. So we'll do one more fill just so you can get a real feel for the mechanism. The last thing I would note is just how much capacity these barrels have. With no cartridge or converter limiting the size, you could really get a lot of ink in there. I'm not really doing large fills just because the ink level of my bottle is low, but with a larger bottle, you can get a lot of ink into a fact filler. 